Everything you see in this world was first only imagined. It had to be first imagined. This little thing called Xerox, this man called Carlson invented it. No one showed any interest. And in the 1930s he brought it out. He was a physicist and he knew it would work. But no one showed any interest, but he first had to imagine it. And then he executed it. Still they would not accept it. Then comes one with real imagination, who was awake, only 36 years old, in a business that he inherited from his father, and he saw the potential. And he was willing to take all the earnings of 12 years, plus what he could borrow in loans and what he could get in issuing new stock. And he put $75 million into a project because he imagined it and believed it. He saw the reality. If I begin to imagine now, and suddenly before my eyes comes the solid reality of what I'm imagining. Who is going to tell me it isn't real? I can't show it to someone else. But to me it's real, I saw it. Well then I will go all out and sell everything I have to prove it to the world. If I had interest in business, my father did that. Every morning after breakfast he would sit down in what we call the Burbies chair and put his feet out on the arms of a chair. It's a chair made in the West Indies. And there he would simply with his eyes partly shut. He would see the day as he wanted it to be. He would carry on mental conversations with men he had to meet that day from his premises and brought them to his conclusion. And that's how he worked. And my brother Victor did the same thing. It doesn't matter what things look like in the world. He sees it as he wants to see it. And things come up. And now they've made millions, but millions in a little tiny place like Barbados. Put him here, he will be the Xerox setup because he has a vivid imagination and he knows how to use it. So I can make everything real. I know from my own experience, but I have no interest in business. I certainly could actually take a business concept and bring it to the point where I can see it to be real. But I have no desire whatsoever to go into business. Believe in the reality of your imaginal acts, and they all become facts. Every one of them. And I do hope you will start now if you haven't started. And so I tell you, it works. It will not fail you, but we are the offering power. It doesn't operate itself. If I know what to do, do it. If I do not do what I know I should do, that's sinning. I'm going to miss them off. Not anything else. If I know what is right to do and I don't do it, well then that's sin. So let us now go into the silence and see ourselves as we would like to be seen by the whole vast world. And when we break the silence and go home tonight, walk in the assumption that we are that person.